we're going to take a look at removing unwanted motion from stock motions. So for this, we're going to use Chuck, and we're going to go into the motion puppet. And we're going to use Natural 2 from the mail. So we'll go ahead and record it. And what I want to do is actually remove the part towards the end where he will look at his hand. Sometimes I can ruin an idle motion in some scenes. So we'll let it record. That's the motion we want to remove. And then let's let him go on and get some more motion established after that move. And we'll roll this on to about 1300 or so. Okay, and that's good enough for right there. We've got it recorded. And here's where we want to take the motion out. You'll notice he looks down at it. So we just want to go right before that to where he's kind of in a standard position. And then we're going to go into motion, right click, and break. Then let's move down, past the motion, and let's say somewhere in there. His body's not exactly in the same shape, but iClone will take care of that for us. And that's only if we have to cut something out. But in this method, we're going to try first, we're not going to cut anything out. We're just going to break it. And the reason I'm breaking it is to remove the motion from the arm without affecting the right arm motion, or the left arm motion, excuse me, in the rest of the clip. If I was to just come in this single clip and remove motion from that arm, then it would lose all the motion except for the hand, and it would just look like a stiff arm, because that's all you would have. So in this case, we're just going to come to the beginning of the clip. We're going to right-click, and we're going to remove motion from the left arm because that is the arm that's moving. Now let's test that. Okay, now that was pretty simple. He still has his head bob, but it's not near as distracting. And you could, of course, come in for this little bit and remove that, but I wouldn't recommend it because the head moves quite a bit. Uh, when you have the head stiff, it really doesn't look right at all. Now the other method to do this would just be to simply delete that and use your handle and blend it in up here. And this would just be trial and error as to how far to pull out the blend handle. And then there you have it. An idle motion without the look down. Now at this point in time you also want to come up here with collect clip. Highlight that motion, right click add motion to library and then just simply name it and save it. That way you have this idle motion next time you want it. 